Alright. I'm actually curious to see what players or what characters each player goes. So we are seeing the Pokemon Key Trainer versus the Joker. Nice starting off with a Squirtle naturally, and right. um, I'm very, very excited um, to see how you know I've seen Ned play. He's an extremely good Pokemon trainer. I'm a, I'm very, very excited for this match. You know, this is definitely going to be a match where you know Pokemon trainer has to use every tool in their kit to keep Joker at bay. But Joker being so quick, having such an extensive combo game means that he's very free form. You know, he's able to get a lot of combos that really express how a player likes to be aggressive. And uh, already Ned putting him into the corner, taking the percent deficit, but not a big deal if you're able to find these Squirtle combos. But Omega Rugal putting Ned in the corner, 67% of the percent racking on with that side beat. Down tilt covering the normal getup. Ned needs to find his way out of the corner, and yeah, as soon as I say that, finds a reversal back air. Now Ned uh, with the ledge trapping. And I like how Omega Rule goes for these gun shots. No, not so, so much for damage, but just saying like, hey, I'm going to hit you. This is scary. Great tech from uh, Omega Rule. Uh, any significant here will uh, hit here will lead into a Arsene. Right, and he was trying to go for the fastball up air to get the up smash afterwards too. He gets Arsene now. He's in huge trouble if he doesn't you know get rid of it soon. I want to see where Ned. Uh, what's Ned's approach to this? Running down with that uh, down throw into Uppy, obviously getting nerfed. Uh, earlier on in the game, he's not going to be able to kill there. Parry into four, so very good punish. I feel like Nintendo saw Evil Grand Finals. It's like, eh, Pokemon Trainer is a little bit too strong. Let's let's tone that down a little bit. Back there, not going to be able to take it from Ned. Side beat. This is scary for Ned. Trying to recover back against uh, Omega. Back here is going to be able to take it, and Omega Rugal with a stock lead here. All right. Here we go. No, back at Squirtle. I, it's it's one of those like high risk high reward kind of gambits where like going at Squirtle at high percent, you know, you're faster to keep up with Joker, but you're also lighter too. So he has to worry about like, okay, at what point do I take too much damage where it becomes a liability? Uh, but Ned utilizing the movement very well here to uh, find some percent, but not a stock fight yet. Back air? Yeah, immediate switch to Venusaur for the ledge trap. You mean Ivy Sword? Oh, sorry, yeah, Ivy Sword, I'm so sorry. Four throw? Not gonna be able to take it. All right, but another grab and up throw should kill. And getting hit by the getup attack. Very good counterplay from uh, Omega Rugal. Ooh, try going for a re-grab or a tech chase situation, doesn't find it, gets up, not that, gonna take it. How did that not kill? I'm so confused. That it, was crazy. It was at the very center stage, but 4th throw gonna do it this time. Yeah, no. I feel like it didn't matter which throw it was at that point, but 4th throw was less stale of the two. What a call from Omega Rubble finding that uh, up key to punish Ned from double jumping away. Or double jumping towards center stage, 4th throw. Ned's in the corner, sliding 4 tilt, right. going deep for the edge guard. You know, a lot of other players would have probably just been settling with the, the back air immediately. And against Pokemon Trainer, where like he can go to Ivysaur, he can tether it and immediately dare you. You know, that's a super scary thing. So I like how he was like, okay, I'm going to just hang back and get free center stage a little bit. And Omega Rugal has the Arsene here. Uh, it's going to be upon Ned if he's going to want to chase it down to try to knock it off with Joker or try to camp it up. But it looks like taking the very aggressive approach. Oh my god, doesn't get the spike hitbox in there. Oh, he went for the footstool on that. Right. And he finds the footstool. There's very, the very good yep. tetracon. Oh, oh, he tried to back air, but he takes it. No, that that could have been a stock. That could have easily been you no know, Omega Rugal flubbing that edge guard and you know, dying in the process. But because of that tech, he managed to live another day or for like another like 10 seconds. Back air gonna be killing uh, Omega Rugal there. Ned now has a stock lead. Uh, going into the Venusaur, maybe trying to find some sort of an explosive opening or a Gimp opportunity. Going for that grab, getting punished with a grab of uh, Omega Rugal's own. Oh, uh, try reading the DIN or the for the center stage. Doesn't find it. Gets punished super heavily for that. Back air into Uppy, double jumping over that another Uppy attempt, and Ned getting trigger happy with these Uppies, trying to find anything, and no up there, going for a landing up tilt instead, trying to cover a landing option. And now if we see the Charizard, we're going to see a lot of shielding here, just trying to find anything, but first hit forward and the back is going to be able to take it, and now Omega Rugal can definitely bring this back. I mean, he can, but he's going to have to hope that he lives long enough for an Arsene to come back. Down tilt getting him off stage with that forward smash, not being able to take it. Omega Rugal is the ice. Absolutely immaculate. Right, and that Squirtle's no lack of kill power coming into play right there. But uh, I like to stay from Ned. Uh, he wants to keep up with uh, Joker's movement speed as long as possible with Squirtle. Down throw into forward and not connecting on the platform. There go. Opting to switch to Ivy Sword now. Back there, keeping him off stage, shooting a gun. Trying to catch uh, one of Ned's resources, but Ned's able to get back, getting hit with a back air. Now, we see the Charizard coming out. He just needs a grab or an up smash, but Omega Rugal is not letting up. 
Down Gun's gonna be able to hit him out of that up and Arsene's on his way back. I mean, it's a little bit there, but... Oh, oh my god, that is connected. meaning for this kill. Gets the Nair. You know, and Arsene, like, he just needs one more hit, but there's the grab. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Yeah, Ned taking the first game there. Omega Rugal had the lead earlier on, but Ned was able to bring him back, and we saw the, the Squirtle, like you said, it's kind of a gamble. You're gonna commit to Squirtle, commit to the movement speed, and uh, push your advantage like that, and we could have been fatal, but luckily finding the four throw with that Charizard. Yeah. I mean, definitely with Squirtle, I feel like Squirtle's the only one of the three uh, Pokemon that's able to keep up and you know, out combo, out space Joker, but the other ones, like, you're not killing with Squirtle, as we saw with, like, he had a decently charged down smash towards the end, and it didn't kill. Mm -hmm. And so that's when you realize, like, okay, I need to get to a, a Pokemon that can actually kill, because it is not likely to get a Squirtle smash attack ever. Getting into game number two here, Ned. Um, back to Stadium 2. There we go, get the grab on the dash attack. Alright, yeah, both of them just kind of crashing in and out of each other's uh, ranges, trying to make a... Make an opening with, other, with whatever straight hit they're able to find. Very, very good empty line into the grabs. And trying catching that air dodge, but doesn't get there in time. Up there, up air, forward air, Omega Rugal needs to find his way back to the ledge. Immediate ledge trap from Ned, but now he has the stage control and Joker's on his way. Or sorry, Arsene's on his way. Right. This is Dash attacking the up air, but now he has Arsene. Oh, goes for the reset. Yeah, that was very good from Ned. Uh, catching on to the no tech habit, getting hit with that down tilt, missing the tech on the second one, and finding the jab reset forward smash. And you see there Squirtle very, very slowly pushing his way, or pushing him uh, forward towards the blast zone there. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the only ways Squirtle gets that kill, gets a kill ever, is if they miss a tech. Forward air, going for another forward air there. Oh no! Oh no! He's living, it's he has, Joker! It's Joker, yeah, he has the best tether in the game. Oh, going for a Nair air air there. Not being able to find his way off the ledge. Forward smash attempt from Ned. Well, opting for a two frame instead of going for the down air. Yeah, going for the first hit forward air. Omega Rugal is trying to end the stock here with Arsene. I mean, he really needs to end it with Arsene at this point. Cross up Nair is not going to be able to get punished with that grab. And oh, oh, no, that he was missed that. execution. Yeah. That was a bear. But they're. He gets the bear there. Yeah, nope. you, you kind of linger a little bit with Venusaur uh, on the tether there, and you're going to get hit with the back air. And now Omega Rugal trying to find his way back, um, air dodging right through that, and finding his way back to center stage here, uh, holding his own, trying to shoot some guns, maybe uh, make Ned double, um, like, uh, overthink his approach options and find a, a slip up. But Ned not letting up, keeping him in the corner. There we go, Ned trying to find an option, going for a read with the uppy, trying to bait out a jump, but you know what? Omega Rubble is like, I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to punish you for thinking I would. Very good uh, up air punish on that uh, down air attempt uh, through the platform. All right, and now Charizard's out, gets the up smash, and that's what you go to Charizard for. You go for the, I need one thing to hit in yeah. order to kill you. Uh, you can hold shield, you can just you just need a grab or some sort of smash attack to take it. Back air covering the platform there, going for a... Just holding the ledge here, he needs to find the stock here. Yeah, Whoa, he finds it with yeah. a back air. Very good stuff from Omega Rugal. Uh, taking 1% to the Blast Zone uh, camera there, but now we have an even game. But here we go. I mean, this is going to be so critical because he opted to go Charizard super early. And I wanted to go back to Squirrel, but you know, he did take a small punish for it as well. Up throw, up throw into back air missing. And uh, Omega Rugal has the percent lead here against a uh, Squirtle. And that should be enough for Arsene. Yep. So now Arsene is out to play. I feel like this match is going to come down to can he outlast Arsene? Back to sending him off stage, going off with that back air attempt. Now Venusaur, or, sorry, Ivysaur coming out. Gets in there on the tether. Oh! There we go. Very, very good stuff from Mega Rugal. He hit the hitbox of. Um, Ivysaur, he was waiting it out. He knew that something was supposed to happen. He, he right. knew that he had to switch to Charizard to recover there. Right. He waited that out and went very far down with that back air, and that was going to be able to take it. I love how he went for the back air instead of the counter, because depending on how many jumps that Charizard does, if he missed the timing for the counter, he might have died from the reversal of it. Yep. Joker, Pokemon so, getting the guaranteed kill with the back air, knowing that, like, okay, by the time the Pokemon switches over, I'll be in position to fastball back air. Exactly, and uh, we're getting into a Game 3 uh, situation here between Ned and Omega Rugal. Both players not being from uh, SoCal, but uh, still gunning for that summit spot. 
Down throw, up air and air. These are the very explosive squirtle combos you have to worry about. Off of basically any move, we see a down tilt into grab, 64%. And Omega Rule trying to find his way back down with the down gun Nair up airs. Yeah, here we go. I mean, Joker is so quick and so fast that, you no, know, he gets one opening and he can just take you for a ride. But Squirtle's like that. And I feel like Squirtle, because he has a better ground game, he has better movement speed on the ground. He's just able to get those confirms a little bit faster than Joker can. And this is where it's very scary trying to recover against Arsene, but finding the immediate tether. Down throw, there's no up E there, but he now has a ledge trap situation. Oh, try switching to Charizard to get the kill. Unfortunately, gets punished, but oh. the up E beating out the back air. Probably the armor coming into play right oh, there. Oh no, is he living? Yeah, he's yeah. living still. He got hit with that flame, so he's still got invincibility. And uh, Ned trying to go for an up smash to cover the double jump away, and Omega Rugal now pushing the envelope off stage. Forward smash, Ned going a little bit too above, uh, too much above the lead, and Ned's on his last two stocks at winner's side, or potentially. There you go, reads the tech roll in. All right. Ooh, missing the grab, both of them whipping their punishes there, going for a grab. Back throw, not going to be able to take it, 145%, halfway to Arsene. There's the Nair trying to go in deep red, not going to find it. Very, very good discipline from Omega Rugal, not pulling his trigger on the tether too early and finding the hole there and getting a drag down, down air, uh, up air into an extension. Oh, I was so scared. I mean, I feel like Omega Rugal definitely knows the limits of how far he can go with this character because there are so many times I figured like, oh, he has speed. But Omega Rugal seems to always find his way back. And that Nair's going to be able to take it. And um, now we see the Squirtle coming back out from Ned. He needs to find these openings into Persenda. Call his way back slowly here. Does he find an opening? Not quite get there in time. Ooh, crossing up with that border up throw, up air. 39% on Omega Rugal, but we're going to see our scent coming out very shortly here. Oh, wow. That was the invulnerability of the Arsene coming in to play to avoid the Nair. Very, very lucky from Omega Rugal, but catching the double jump. Going for the immediate uppy, but Omega Rugal DIing very properly there. Going for the down air on shield. Net shield getting a little bit small there. I mean, it's a little bit small, but I feel like you're not worried about Arsene breaking it unless they get like a fully charged like a smash on it. Oh, going for the high recovery, gets the down smash. Not going to be able to take it. Yeah. But he gets rid of Arsene, and that's like half the battle right there. I, very interesting choice to go for the uh, get up attack there, maybe anticipating a neutral beat from Ned, but Ned getting sent into the corner with that Daz attack. Now, uh, Omega Rugal with the opportunity to uh, edge guard. Going off with a running runoff forward, they're not going to be able to take it in. Spot dodging right through that up smash. I feel like he went for that smash because he realized, oh, I got grabbed last time in this situation and I almost died for it. So let's go for the up smash, try to call out the jump. And unfortunately, he spot dodges instead. And an extremely close match, even in percents here, but Charizard has that longevity of being a heavy. And you know, Charizard also has the advantage of like, hey, you need a, a hard read or a back air or a forward smash, I can just throw out a tail and I'll kill you. Exactly. Back air, not going to be able to take a net off stage, recovering low against Omega. Omega is not able to find it there. Spot dodge, turn around, grab, drag down, oh. forward air for the first hit of forward air into forward smash. And now we have a completely even game three. Game three, last stock in pools. All right. No, this does not feel like a pool match. No, at this all. is insane. At a smaller tournament, this could be grand finals. Yeah. Down tilt going for an up air there, spot dodging, getting hit with a side beat, down throw into forward air. Omega Rugal has him off stage. Nair at air trading. All right, he has our send. Can he make the most of it? All right, I mean, both players. I mean, we see that Omega Rugal is trying not to pull. Oh, that was trapped. insane. He didn't pull the trigger on the forward air, knew he wasn't going to connect and got a grab again. Rolling through both of them, scrambling a little bit, uh, trying to find their, their safe spaces. Go going for the Nair, and I like how he's staying at Squirtle because like the the risk reward is like okay if I were to go any other character, I wouldn't be able to keep up with uh, especially our send speed. Oh, that down tilt not connecting. He wants to find that down tilt to the grab back air is going to be sending him into the corner. But both of them trading stage control now. Omega Rugal has the ledge trap. Down oh, tilt. The, no, he texts it. Oh, there we go. He didn't like the jab block. Yeah, he he's realized okay I died the last time I didn't take it. I am not making that same mistake again. Down air, uh, down guns from Omega Rugal. The punish on the up smash is a back throw. Going deep for that back air. He just needs one more big edge guard sequence here. Going for the down smash, two frame on the up, he not connecting. Right. Here we go. This is a tight situation this is for so both players. Good for the grab. Oh, he's not the, he's oh, there. Oh my god. Ned's able to take it with an up smash out of shield, punishing the cross up. It right. didn't look like it was gonna kill, but very at the very last. He touched the blast zone and Ned's able to take a 2-1 over Omega Rugal. I feel like that would be such a hard move to DI.